T-minus 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Ignition. We have... NASA, as best as I can judge, is one of the best research organizations out there. But it is suffering from a budget problem. Its budget now lies at only four tenths of a penny of a tax dollar. NASA's research with satellites peers into the universe like none other, but it also researches things going on here on Earth. We have used satellites to uncover the most tremendous things about the way the polar ice caps are melting. We've used them to understand how the galaxy works, and how black holes are able to send out emissions and control the way our universe forms. With the things that the satellites that NASA has sent up, we now have a new understanding of the world, of quantum mechanics, which runs your cell phones and all of your technology. Every image you see here, every pixel, is a tiny or perhaps large satellite orbiting the Earth. All of these dots, GPS, satellite communication, research, help us learn about the planet. We also have satellites on the moon who study the lunar surface and help us get a better understanding of how the moon formed so long ago. One particular satellite orbiting the moon studies high-speed communications through space, which also give us insight into how to do high-speed communication here on Earth. It uses laser technology in order to create a lossless high-speed communication track. There's also technology known as OSIRIS-REx, which will go out and study asteroids and collect samples and study them. These samples can be used to look at if they have the molecules of life in them. These samples can be tested and even sent back to Earth. We could build many of these to study our universe. And of course we can't talk about NASA without talking about Mars, the great red dot which surprisingly is very similar to our own planet. In fact, it wasn't that long ago that Mars was almost identical to ours. It has an electromagnetic field like ours, and once upon a time, it looked almost identical. NASA studies things from clouds, to water, to wind, to plants, everything to try and get a better understanding of our world. One of the things NASA studies is race cars. Well, not race cars per se, but the technology that goes into them is actually often developed by NASA spin-offs. NASA studies things like heat shields, better fuel emission, cleaner fuel emission, and safety precautions. Many of these technology spin-offs actually originated from shuttle development and later went into core development. We can't, of course, dismiss one of probably the biggest spin-offs of NASA, which is technology that was introduced by the Hubble Telescope. Hubble is a massive space telescope which takes fantastic photographs, but it's software that helps categorize the images together and make them sharper is actually used in the medical field in order to help diagnose patients with breast cancer using mammogram technology. The technology from Hubble saves millions of dollars every year. In fact, medical technology from NASA is very common. There are heart pumps based off rocket fuel engines, there's robotic surgery, there's an entire field of medicine called space medicine, which is all medicine developed by NASA. NASA technology helps us understand storms, it helps us to help first responders, it helps us build sneakers, firefighter equipment, soldiers who need water supplies out in the desert or in the battlefield. The technology that NASA provides us has brought us to a world where we can't even imagine living without it. NASA does all of this with just four tenths of a penny on every tax dollar. Imagine what would happen if we lost that four tenths of a penny. The world would no longer be able to advance at the rate and the path it does. We would be thrown back into the caves as cavemen. Now imagine what could happen 
if we increase that to just one penny on every tax dollar. As Dr. Neil deGrasse Tyson said, how much would you pay for the universe?